All right, so here's the latest uh, Tropical Storm Cristobal update. It's around 12.20, 12.22. Well, it says it in the corner of my, my phone, but I'm going to put a bunch of clips together so it comes out at once. Uh, so as you can see, that these, these feeder bands are just right offshore from where I am here in Dolphin Island, Alabama. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually head out. Um, I'm going to go to a couple of different spots here on Dolphin Island and, and get right on the Gulf uh, and see what the weather and surf is looking like. So let's go out and check it out. All right, so I'm going to do a couple of clips um, of just some different squalls that will come through and, and one's about to come through now. So again, I'm where the blue dot is and you can watch uh, this little squall right here um, come overhead. So I'm going to run outside. Uh, just put a quick uh, camera on it. Hopefully all is well. All right, here's a little clip of one of these outer feeder bands coming across uh, the northern side of Dolphin Island. So if you look in the distance, you can see where you can see that pier. Um, and here quickly, uh, you can see kind of the distant rain moving closer and closer to that pier and fixing to come right in front of me. So slowly but surely, the weather is beginning to uh, be more um, a constant, I guess. Um, so here, here we go. It is now somewhere around, uh, I want to say it's around 11.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, so heavy downpours. Uh, the high tide has already crested, so uh, this is, is again still well offshore. Uh, or the center of circulation is still well offshore. So tomorrow at about this time, I think this could be um, a really, really, really type of um, heavy flooding situation, at least in this area. I've seen that water underneath my house, and I'm, I'm about 16 feet up, or like 14 and a half feet, I think, to be exact. Um, but I've had water underneath the house up to my waist and had to move my car um, to higher ground. So, nice little squall. Still not a lot of wind. The wind's relatively calm. Again, that's my north. Um, again, that's my east, and the Gulf of Mexico is just on the other side of those trees. So, a lot of heavy rain. Not a lot of wind. The wind's relatively calm. But this is just a prelude of, of what's to come. So, um, I'll keep them coming. All right, so I'm walking out on a pier that is on the very east end of Dolphin Island. So the wind has picked up considerably. Um, it's probably blowing about 20, 25 miles an hour sustained as I walk out here to this pier. Beautiful sight. Water's beginning to churn. Off in the distance, that's Gulf Shores. You can see the land over there. That's Gulf Shores, Alabama. This is actually one of our weather stations here. So this weather station is actually a quite good fishing spot on a, on a relatively calm day. So here I am at the very end of this pier. It's crashing up on me. So this pier is generally a, a, a couple more feet above water than it is now. So it's definitely beginning to tape shape. You can see the, the high clouds that are just now knocking on the door right here. So I would say by about 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, this is going to be a different ball game. A uh, different ball game entirely. The beautiful Fort Gaines over there. There's Carla. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here on the east end of Dolphin Island, and I'm going to drive to my west and end up towards the west end of Dolphin Island. So we can kind of see what's going on, the surf, uh, the wind speed, uh, and so forth. So uh, stay tuned, uh, we're going to take a ride down the beach. The waves are definitely coming in. This is usually a, a quite calm area. Uh, it's a deep channel, but hey, right here at this area, it's much rougher than it normally is. So. Here we go, we got waves crashing on shore. Really kind of coming in good here. Nice look, Mother Nature's doing big things right now. Had to give a shout out to the crew boat going out in that. So we have some very active oil and drilling platforms that are just offshore. And these guys go out and work in it no matter what.
That's what I call dedication, baby. Woo! All right, here's a quick video, or a quick clip, rather, of one of our, one of our busiest public boat launches. So you can definitely see that the water level is up uh, quite high, almost to the street here. Uh, so there's the street behind me, uh, and here's the boat launch. Some other views of very early on storm surge. Again, the cresting high tide has already come and gone. The high tide tomorrow morning, when this is going to be much, much worse, uh, is around 1140 a.m. Central Standard Time. This is going to be a lot different tomorrow. All right, so this is the Gulf of Mexico. So I'm about midway down Dolphin Island. I was just on the very east end. Uh, and now I'm about halfway down Dolphin Island, so uh, just about, um, I don't know, another mile, mile and a half to the west end. So in that direction is the Mississippi Sound, uh, Mississippi waters. To my due south, right here, is the meat of the storm. So we've talked about for uh, a couple of videos now that this storm is lopsided on to the eastern side. So because the storm is um, eastern side lopsided we're gonna get the a lot of the meat of the storm right here so you can see you can see that from yesterday when I was out here until now that the ocean is much more angry again it, it takes a lot for um, for the surf to get big here uh, we do surf and we do get some surf days out of the year but for the majority of the time the water is relatively calm so uh, the surf is definitely up. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to continue to jump around to a couple different spots. Uh, I'm going to continue to do this until probably 6 or 7 p.m. Central Standard Time tonight when I think the weather is going to start going downhill. Uh, whereas um, I guess up until now I've been able to kind of stay out in it. Uh, tonight and tomorrow is going to be a different story. So let's continue to pop on down the beach uh, and see what uh, Mother Nature is going to bring. All right, so here we are, Dolphin Island, Gulf of Mexico. Currently at this location, I've got a wind reading of a sustained wind of about 24 miles per hour coming out of the east. So this is definitely the calm before the storm. Tonight at around 6 p.m., by the looks of it, the thick of it's gonna start moving in. The, the storm is still moving t at 12 miles per hour due north, and it's located about 350 miles due south of the mouth of the Mississippi River. So on the eastern side of this storm is where we are currently, and as long as it moves due north and continues on this track, the weather here will go downhill in a hurry. Let's jump down the beach and go check out some more of the West End. So here we are on the very West End of Dolphin Island. I was here yesterday, so not a bad day out here. Surf is up, guys surf is having a good time. Hopefully they're getting some last rides in. I think tomorrow's gonna be a little too rough to surf. It looks like a little closed out, a little mushy out there. Looks like it's probably two to four feet uh, closed out for sure, but some good rides to be at hand. I think tomorrow's gonna be too choppy. I think the day to surf would actually be probably Tuesday of next week, uh, but hopefully he shreds up and has a good time, but it's, it's always nice to get a couple of rides in. I think a guy out here is about to paddle in one. Uh, just missed it. So it is, it is mushy. Uh, I wouldn't be out here in it, but hey, uh, it's, it's nonetheless a good time. I think the day to surf will be after the storm passes, after the southerly flow is out, and we get that uh, we get that offshore wind that kind of gives us a clean face. So let's look at Tuesday or maybe Wednesday for the surf. Good luck, though. All right, here's a really good view of some waves crashing up on a seawall. So it's definitely starting to pick up. So. The, the seas here now that I get a better look at them some of those breakers out there are probably overhead it looks looks are deceiving so I think the surf is definitely whoa so I think the surf is definitely probably four to six feet at this point so a really good look right here again I'm on the very west end of Dolphin Island I think I just saw the weather channel here next to me so anyway this is gonna be a really 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 fun evening um, it's only going to go downhill from here. Alright, so this is just a quick segment that I'm taking from one of the places that we surf at. 
uh, when the waves are really up and clean. So I, I don't know if you can quite tell the break that we generally like to surf off of is the second break out there. So um, off in the distance, uh, that's why I wanted to check this one is to see how clean it really was. There's some rides out there, but it's it's definitely closed out and rough. Wife running for her life there. Uh, but you know the, the 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 irony is is if you look at these waves crashing up here on the shore, you can see the stump that sticks out of the water. Whoa, water coming on me, and I'll see if I can zoom in on the stump. So do you see the stump right here sticking out of the water right there? So this the west end of the island, it's it's always a very interesting and a very volatile place. You know, a storm can come in and it and it can lay, you know, a. Uh, uh, 200 yards of sand on the beach uh, or it can take it away and when it takes it away it takes out homes so when I was a boy there was a lot of homes that are uh, no longer here and what remains is just stumps so it's definitely picking up the uh, surf is up and you can see how close the proximity that these homes are to the water so here's the front doorsteps and we have uh, seawater washing on shore so we're supposed to get you know, three to five feet of storm surge. Well, you can imagine that's gonna be the first set of stairs heading back. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, but some of these houses are already being inundated with water, at least underneath them. So you can kind of look over here. Water already crashing underneath the houses. All right, we're gonna keep jumping down the beach uh, and, and see what else uh, we can find so see you in a second all right so here we are driving west on the only road that runs the span of Dolphin Island Alabama and what I wanted to show you is the width of the island so if I point my camera to the left and by the way Carl is driving I'm now in the passenger seat the Gulf of Mexico is right there so those homes are on the beach so that is the Gulf of Mexico where we have been standing the last couple of segments. So if I slowly pan to the other side of the road, which is just to my right, there's the water there. So the, the island is incredibly thin, so the, it, any amount of storm surge here is, is potentially just plain and simple, dangerous. Um, so again, I just wanted to kind of put into context how small uh, the island really is water there gulf of mexico due south would be the meat of the storm uh, to my right mobile bay uh, mainland alabama um, and uh, the future uh, of where the storm will go so very small uh, very um very volatile place all right so um just to kind of sum up um this video uh, i guess you could say in a nutshell uh, we just went up and down um, Dolphin Island from the east end uh, to the west end. Again, I'm where the blue dot is located. This is the current uh, Doppler loop that is uh, precipitation uh, from the past hour until current. So here is an hour ago up until current uh, coming right now. So if I go um, to some of my forecast models for the future, if you look at the bottom, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, and again, this is just a forecast model, but uh, by the looks of this model, if it holds true around five o'clock, as you saw there, six o'clock, seven o'clock, uh, from then on, um, the situation should get much more interesting here. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, take care. Um, I'll go back out sometime before, um, I guess you could say that happens. So I'll try to shoot back out at around six. I'm somewhat limited because of, of, of a recently broken arm and a relatively fresh cast, uh, but we'll uh, we'll see if we can't figure something out. Uh, but hey, get, get involved in comments. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask. Please subscribe um, and we will see you um, all very soon. So uh, what I'll try to do is put this into its kind of pause motion. Let me bring it. Okay, here we go. So this is the current map that indicates in the red we have tropical storm warning. We have over in Gulfport where Mike is. Uh, we have a storm surge indication. Uh, so anyway, it's, it's beginning to go downhill. Um, let's see what happens and we will uh, see you again very soon. Take care.